Hello. So we are back and this time we have a we have a we have a nice laptop. It's a Lenovo Yoga, but still a nice one. Check here, it's like brand new. Huh? The problem with this laptop, let's check the customer email. So the customer is saying split uh, glass water and uh, liquid. Supposedly hit side of the laptop and turn off. Will not turn back on. I can't see any liquid uh, taking base off. USB tester show 5 volts. That's when the PD controller is not working. Okay, so he's saying it cannot work, has some issues. Battery disconnected as potential liquid damage. Battery does have 15 volts. Okay, so here we have like a sad case, but let's try to help the customer, especially, I believe this is one guy from uh, our Discord. And of course, it's a subscriber. Uh, let's plug a USB charger. The customer said there should be like 5 volts. So plugging the, the USB, USB-C, and we have 5 volts. It's taking a current. So clearly, the PD controller is not working. I will say, let's open this uh, laptop quickly and try to fix it. Okay, we don't have screws here. So let's open it. Okay, so the laptop is open. Indeed, the battery is disconnected. So the customer said the, the liquid the liquid came from uh, from one side. The Lenovo sticker is still here. But when you have the liquid damage from one side, then uh, you have to you have to take the motherboard out and check on the both sides. But still can't see how the liquid can get inside. So we have a speaker, we have liquid. No, not sure. Not sure. Let's have a look under the microscope if, you, if we can see something. But otherwise, I don't understand how the liquid can go on the other side of the motherboard. But we can have a look, like I said. So we have a fuse here. Everything looks like brand new. Check here. No liquid damage. Here is looking fine. The battery is disconnected. Here is looking fine. So what uh, is next? Let's check the main power rail. So the customer said the battery has 15 volts, that means the main power rail probably is not shorted. But we can check that. Capacitor not shorted, not shorted, not shorted. So the main power rail is not shorted, but the PD controller are not working. Okay, you know what? Because I can't see here the PD controller, so probably around the other side of the of the motherboard. I will say Let's take the board out and try to have a look on the other side of the motherboard. Maybe we can spot some liquid damage. Okay, so the motherboard, it's out. And there's nothing on the motherboard. Here we have the BIOS battery. Uh, let's check under the microscope. But it looks like, you know, untouched. I mean, I can't see any liquid damage. It's perfectly clean. No, absolutely nothing. No liquid damage. So what we are doing on this case, because this motherboard is looking perfect. Let's plug the charger. Do you really think the liquid damage is connected with the fact the laptop is not working? And we have 5 volts. And that's not good. Should be 19. Okay, I will take out the heatsink to check this side of the board. Okay, so we took the foil out. Let's check on the microscope. So we have the RAM memory, CPU. Huh. 
Ha, check here. I didn't see that. Because the plastic was over. Uh, yeah, yeah. The plastic was over those fingers. Yeah, that's bad. Let's shake this coil to ground. So this coil to ground is not shorted. Lol. Okay, that's not that's not bad. It's not bad. So this ship is still good. Let's clean quickly. The problem is if those resistors are gone, I'm not sure. Uh, what is the value of those resistors? Yeah, they are green. Clearly here, here was some liquid damage. Let's see. Mm, it's not looking bad. It's not looking bad. This track is still good. This resistor is still good. This resistor clearly is not good. Yeah, so this resistor I can uh, I can see is not good. Let's try to remove that resistor. Now let's do some magic there. Yeah, I'm gonna use some flux, some liquid flux. Perfect. Do you think only this drop of, uh, you know, water can cause the laptop, like, to go dead? Because it's just a little bit. This one. Where is my resistor? Where is my resistor? Lol, don't tell me I lost it. It's here, it's here, check here. Yeah, that's my resistor. Yeah, okay. Let's use the solder iron. Let's bring that part back. Here is no pad. That pad is gone. Yeah. So uh, we cannot solder there the resistor. But we can use, like, you know, like a proper calibrated wire. Huh? What do you think? We can use, uh, you know, a wire to rebuild that uh, that track. Perfect. Yeah, that's fine. Now let's see the resistor because that's more uh, more important. What are you going to do with the resistor? What is the value of this resistor? Let me grab the multimeter. My multimeter is showing me 10 kilo ohms. You can see on the multimeter. Check that, 10 kilo ohms. So this is still good, actually. But 10 kilo ohms is easy to be found. If you need one, obviously. I don't think we need one. Yeah, it's perfect. So what do we need? 
we need to solder this resistor back then uh, no we need a wire first we need a wire yeah we need this wire perfect Perfect. Okay. Now we need the resistor. Like that. Perfect. Good. And the wire like that. Yeah, that's perfect. Yeah, so the wire it is soldered on the resistor. Now let's clean it and check one more time. But for me, it's looking perfect. What about for you? So we have the bridge under the resistor, the wire is soldered on the resistor. You can't see the point replacing the resistor. Everything is looking good. Now it is possible this chip to be the 3.3 volts LDO. Yeah, it is possible. Let me dry. Perfect. Let's plug the USB-C and see if we are getting 19 volts on this motherboard. Check there, huh? Check there, 19. You can see? So now the motherboard is working fine. Let me put it all back together quickly. Yeah, quickly. I'm happy I helped the customer because otherwise this motherboard is looking like impeachable. But you see, like just a tiny drop of water can uh, you know end up the the life of your uh, laptop just a little bit and it was under the under this right well, let me check I didn't check if it's clean uh, yeah I can't see anything here so the liquid just got under the plastic yeah Okay, so the laptop is back in place. Let's plug the charger. I plug the battery. Plug in the charger. It's charging! 2 amps. Check there. 2 amps. Now, let's try to press the power button, which is... here. Yeah. Pressing the power button and the laptop is coming on. You can see the light here. Still taking two amps. We have the charging light also there, orange light.
Let's wait because we reset the bias, yeah? Let's wait. It's still on, the laptop is still on, you can see there the, the light. But it's taking a while when you reset the bias. Yeah, the CPU is getting warm, which is a good sign. And we have picture! Boot failed. Oh, it's no hard drive. Okay, okay, so here, uh, probably it's supposed to be a M2 drive and it's not there. Yeah, okay, I got it, I got it. The touchpad is working, the keyboard is working. Yeah, yeah. So we don't have a boot device, but the laptop is working fine. Yeah, perfect, perfect. So the laptop is fixed. You know, I'm uh, I'm happy I uh, I help this customer. Uh, it's really make me sad when uh, um, when the customer is sharing. You know, he has some uh, issues on his life. So uh, uh, I fixed it. I'm happy I fixed it. But you know, I'm still sad for the customer. Anyway, uh, you will ask Sorin, but why you didn't replace the resistor? You know, I'm pretty sure you can find that resistor on any motherboard. And yeah, you're right, you can find that resistor 10 kilo ohms on any motherboard. You can find multiple 10 kilo ohms resistors. But the idea is, when you work on such a way, it doesn't feel like, you have no satisfaction for replacing. You have you have satisfaction, and you know it's feeling rewarding for repairing. Now the resistors, yeah, you have two solder surface. You have on one side and on the top. Okay, basically one side. Okay, is gone. I understand. But you just flip the resistor and you solder the resistor back. I mean, I can't see any issue there, right? You remember it was a movie on the past. Uh, you know, with some people, they crash with the planes somewhere and the radio has a broken resistor and they use like a paper and a graphite pen to, you know, repair that resistor. So, you know, repairing, you know, it's, uh, it's a good strategy, you know, just... I, I can't do it. I can't. Maybe, maybe something wrong with me. I don't know. But that's how I, you know, how I mental prepare to repair not replace even if it's about a resistor i know it's something small and insignificant but it, it does matter for me okay so i'm gonna stop now i'm happy it's charging fine it's working fine the other port i mean this laptop will be fine i mean that resistor is sold properly there has a wire on top no nothing can happen there Okay, so I'm going to stop now. I will say uh, thank you for watching. You know, just uh, like, subscribe if you like the video and uh, see you on the next one. Bye.